Welcome back to Ariba Procurement Sessions. My name is Abdullah Sharif, Senior Ariba Consultant, Brainbox Consulting, Netherlands. In the previous episode, we talked about buying. Let's now look into invoicing. Invoicing is an integral part of procurement process. SAP Ariba helps in making this process user-friendly, compliant, has native integration with other SAP platforms and built-in tax engine. Let's now look at how invoice is posted on Ariba network. I have a purchase order created in the system. The purchase order is automatically sent out to the supplier electronically. Here is a sample of an email which is sent out to the supplier. This contains the entire information of the PO. Supplier can click on process order to take action on this PO. On this page, supplier has all the available options to take action on the PO. Some of these are controlled by the customer. Customers can set it up by setting up their network invoicing tools. Supplier can start off with confirming the purchase order either fully or partially. They can also submit an advanced shipping notice or even post an invoice for the PO. Let's go ahead and create an invoice for this PO. This is termed as PO flip where most of the information is copied over from the PO to the invoice. Supplier needs to enter the invoice number. I want to post the taxes on the line level. Let me add the VAT to the items. Since I know how much VAT is applicable for this particular item, I'll just add the percentage and the system calculates the amount for me. There's nothing else to be entered by the supplier. Let's go to the summary screen. Verify all information is filled in correct and submit the invoice. On the PO summary page, the supplier can track all the documents submitted for this PO. Let's now look at the invoice back into buying system. The invoicing module is natively integrated and the invoices posted on Ariba network are immediately available to the customer. This invoice is successfully posted in the system. Here is a sample of exceptions which are generally triggered by the system when there is a mismatch on the invoice. On our live training, we will be covering order confirmation, advanced shipping notice, how to clear and configure exceptions, payment document or the OK to pay file, and transmission of this file to an ERP via CIG.